Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. Happy Monday. Happy autumn. I have a just a small haul for you today. Hope you enjoy. interesting story behind all this dinnerware you see here very pretty each and every piece um, I got all the plates were wrapped up together in mark 12.99 I actually ended up getting them for free with my points and all the bowls were together mark 5.99 the bowls are not marked at all and the plate on the bottom when I looked at them said Homer Laughlin and it had a date of 1978 the dates vary between the 1970s, but that is an actual date. So I thought I had a nice lot of Homer Laughlin plates right here. Um, but when I came home and split them up, I noticed half of them are Taylor Smith Taylor Ironstone in the Car Concord yellow pattern. So that was kind of cool. They are very similar, as you can see. Um, but the Taylor Smith Taylor has a wider rim here than the Homer Laughlin. The Homer Laughlin plates, which are very similar to the Taylor Smith Taylor, um, just have a smaller rim right here and a smaller yellow rim, pardon me. And you could feel the lip right here, whereas the other ones are smooth. The back stamp state, I think 1978 on all of them. That's an actual date right there. Um, but they did start producing these in 1970. They're a reissue of the Harlequin pattern, the dinnerware made between 1938 and 1964 and I believe it's restaurant wear just because just by the feel of it and the look of it I don't really see Homer Laughlin plates that are not best china or restaurant wear um, this heavy this is definitely a pottery although it doesn't say best china so I, I can't really attest to that I found this gorgeous hot chocolate pot uh, made in Bavaria. I know it's a hot chocolate pot because of my good friend at Living the Good Life. She's an expert on this and I had had a pot once and she had told me it was a chocolate pot and I won't forget that again. Anyway, I paid $10 for it at Enjoy and it's just lovely. It has a really nice iridescence here and it's got a pretty floral pattern. I'm going to show you the other side which is the nicer side beautiful condition it has where is it i think one tiny little um piece missing over here on the rim but it wasn't a big deal i didn't think anyways i know i can tell you that um because it says bavaria in english on the bottom and not in bavarian or german that it was made for the u.s in port um i believe it was probably a blank that somebody painted you can see it's got a really pretty iridescence to it on the bottom and on the lid. Pay $10 for it. I think it's probably worth about 40, but I think I'm gonna wait until my good friend T chimes in to let me know. Well, I always say buy butter dishes when you see them in good condition because they're always good sellers and I was really happy to find this Pyrex Opal Wear one in great condition. I paid a dollar fifty for it. It's in the butterfly gold pattern, 1972 to 1981 is when they made the Pyrex compatibles. Um, butterfly gold actually came out in the Corel dinnerware line in 1970. It was designed by Gregory Morrow, and um, I think I'm going to ask about ten dollars for it. So woohoo for me, I found this on the bottom shelf on my third go around actually at the Enjoy store. It's always important to go around and around a few times because it's amazing what you can miss. This does have a little chip right here, but I don't mind because I am not going to sell it. This I think is my very first piece of thrifted 
original Fiesta Wear. It's a 32 ounce jug. It dates from 1937 to 1959. It had the original logo on the back there. Actually, it dates um, way before 1959 because back in the 1940s, they added the word genuine to the back here. You can see this doesn't say genuine. So I know it predates uh, the 1940s, probably 1937, I'm hoping, right there about. It's in the light green color. It has a wonderful Art Deco look. It was designed by Frederick Reed, and there were five variations of these jugs. This 32 ounce is the largest. Um, the original colors that Fiesta were made back in 1937 were red, yellow, ivory, blue, and this light green you see right here. They stopped making the red ones, or excuse me, the red in um, during World War II actually, because the yellow red glaze uh, had uranium in them, uranium oxide to be exact, and the government was pulling all uranium to produce the atomic bomb. So pretty much all pottery during that time did not produce anything in the red orange glaze, and Fiesta were actually discontinued the color permanently in 1944. Aren't these sandwich glass large, I think they're coffee mugs, gorgeous. I've never seen them before. They were in the Enjoy store. I found one for 99 cents. I looked around hoping that I can make a pair and I did. I believe they're Duncan Miller sandwich clear dating between 1925 and 1965. I, I know they're 12 ounce glasses. I looked high and low to verify this pattern. And I really, um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's what they are. I did see only one other person selling these anywhere, and that's what she had called them, Duncan Miller. But doing some research into the different designs on sandwich glass, I believe that this flower right here is um, Duncan Miller. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, for now I'm going with Duncan Miller. I'm going to ask about $16.50 for both of them. Sandwich glass pattern was actually introduced by the Boston and Sandwich Glass Company out of Sandwich, Massachusetts in the late 1800s. Other companies that made um, sandwich glass were Anchor Hawking, Indiana, later followed by Tierra, and Westmoreland, which referred to it as Princess Feather. Paid $1.99 at the uh, Salvation Army. Saw this, scooped it right up. It is in wonderful condition. It's restaurant wear. It's Mayor China in the Mayan wear line. The Mayan wear line refers to the design in the, the dark beige color. It's almost a tan um, of the glaze. It's called Curtis, Curtis Brown actually. It's a syrup pitcher, I believe. And the back stamp dates it between 1930 to 1940. So it's a nice old piece in perfect condition. And I'm gonna ask about $18 for it. Picked up this pretty decorative plate, Asian design plate at the Goodwill. It was marked $4.99 red. Red was half price. I paid $2.50 for it. It's a Toyo plate and the pattern is called Golden Peony and it was just too pretty to pass up. I do collect Asian plates. I'm thinking about starting to sell them off. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I've got a whole bunch of them. But back to this one, I believe it dates to the late 80s or even into the 90s. They were super popular in the mid 80s. And then by 1990, um, they kind of started losing their popularity and they're starting to come back a bit now. I paid $2.50 for it. I think I'm gonna ask about $12 for it. Picked up this little cutie for $3 at the Enjoy store. He's called Christmas Pup, and he's Fenton, as you can see, marking the 100-year anniversary, which makes us 2005. And you can see that he is um, 
signed by the artist right here also. He's in wonderful condition. I've seen these go for, they made cats also, and they made, made a few other um, animals, but I can only think of the cat at the moment, sorry about that. But they sell really, really well, and they sell in the $50 and up range. This one I'll probably list for about 60. I love Polish pottery and I don't see it out there very much in the thrift stores. So I was really glad when I saw this one at um, the Goodwill. It's super heavy. It's 13 inch double handled serving bowl. Paid $5.99 for it, tag still there. The pattern is simply called 163A. It's an active pattern. It's not old by any chance, but whenever you see Polish pottery at a good price, pick it up because they don't make anything like Polish pottery or they don't make anything better than Polish pottery. I'm going to try for the name right here. It is Bolasha This. That's the best I can do. It's actually a city in Poland. It's actually a village in Poland and they've been famous for producing pottery like this since the 14th century and actually most of the people who live in that village that's what they do that's what almost all of them do is make this pottery and it's just incredible pottery it's passed down it's made to last from generation to generation it's pre-baked at 1560 degrees fahrenheit then glazed and refired at 2280 degrees so it's virtually indestructible it's dishwasher safe, it's oven proof to 350 degrees. All the patterns are super pretty. They use a 300 year old technique for painting. They're all hand painted, not one piece is the same. And that process is called hand stamping. They are, um, they sell for a lot of money actually. I paid $5.99 for this one. I see them sell for um, an average of $100. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to sell this one for, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the $60 range. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment and we'll see you again real soon. Bye. You enjoyed? Never. It's a Smith Taylor.